So you want to captain the Jean Bart. Well, do you like to have fun? Do you like to learn a new mechanic? And also, do you like to eat french fries? Then the Jean Bart is for you. The Jean Bart was launched on March 6, 1940, and her only real presence in World War II was in the Battle of Operation Torch, where she was fighting against the USS Massachusetts. Uh, for the most part, it was just like an ongoing brawl between the two ships, but the Massachusetts was winning with the better radar, uh, and her shells were hitting the Jean Bart a lot better. Um, she got battered with a lot of things, and then the US Navy just didn't want to deal with it um, anymore, so they sent out uh, some Doug Dauntless, sorry, Dauntless dive bombers to on the carrier to make her inoperable um so for the most parts she was pretty much bombed out in the beginning of the war and the uh the battle of casablanca pretty much in the northern africa uh front uh but she wanted to get repairs so she got repairs but she didn't get as much as repairs as her sister ship the richie lou but pretty much that was kind of her main spiel in world war ii i know i'm just kind of summarizing it um but for a short video but that's kind of her main arcing story in world war ii but unfortunately in about may may 21st 1970 she was sold to a french breaking company and basically for the next two years she was broken apart along with another light cruiser that the french had and provided about 30,000 tons of scrap iron that's just crazy how much she was um but yeah that was the overall history of the jean bart in game the jean bart is so so much fun to play um, as a destroyer main, I was kind of surprised how much I truly love this ship. It's got a very unique mechanic, and it's and it works, and it works. Um, so, for example, um, it teaches you how to play in the higher tiers. You don't want to go gung-ho uh, running broadsides all the time. This ship teaches you to stay, keep your targets in front of you, and angle. Um, if you are angled against them, you are pretty much pretty good except for you know of course the Amato and that type of stuff uh but overall like anything that's like shooting at you you're gonna probably be able to tank it if you're angled right just just because of how the main guns are in front of the ship and there's no main guns in the back so that's always good and also this ship is very trolly so i mean trolly as in fun troll because you got a reload booster a main battery reload booster your guns already fire 26 seconds roughly depending on that's like the standard but with the reload booster you can fire so much faster you can fire i think it's about like nine eight seconds uh depending on your captain skills and everything and all the situations that you're in but oh my gosh that is so much fun especially if a uh battleship is presenting broadside to you Ooh, you're gonna have a fun day it's a little bit harder against you know you can't over penetrate unfortunately with these guns um they're not very good at over penetrating higher tier or same tier ships but if you're a top tier you're gonna have so much fun and even if you're you know i would say middle tier because you're never gonna be bottom tier um you're still gonna do effective be a very effective i've never had many games where i was not doing about 90k or 80k damage um, in a particular game because she's just so much fun. Um, she's also got like good concealment. Um, she's fast. Like it's almost like a cruiser, but sh it's not. <laughs> it's nothing like the low tier battleships uh, for the U.S. You know how like they're slow and the guns take forever, but they can hit. These are these are kind of like the op this is the exact opposite. It's just a better version of the Richie Lou, to be honest with you. Uh, but the like the main biggest vulnerability about her is if you get flanked for any reason whatsoever um you're pretty much dead um because your guns can't turn around your main battlement is in front of you so if you allow somebody to get behind you you're pretty much gonna die pretty fast um but another thing too another pro is that she has really good aa defense like i was not expecting this but she's got one of the best aa uh in tier nine land for a battleship so it's just like beautiful 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 so overall this ship is so much fun i i cannot highly recommend it anymore um i know there's the georgia out there i think this ship is a lot better than the georgia yes 
Granted, the Georgia does have a better dispersion than you, but the Georgia also takes longer to reload. It has, once again, each ship has its more pros and cons, but this, uh, the Jean Bart itself, so much fun. Um, you know where roughly your shots are. Your, your dispersion's not bad either. Like, yes, the Georgia is pretty much like a laser sight, but the Jean, Jean Bart is basically the exact same. Um, you got a little bit more dispersion, not much, um, but other than that, it's really good ship. Um, I'm surprised that this is a free ship, um, or well, I say free ship, it's a coal ship. I highly recommend it. Use, spend all your coal on this ship. It is so worth it. Um, you, you will have so much fun and it's just purely because of this new gimmick of the main battery reload booster. It, this ship is perfect for you to learn how to properly play higher tiers. How to play even ranked too if you really want to get in, into ranked. Um, it's just one of these type of ships that is great for a beginner. And yes, it's got a few gimmicks upon it. But once you learn those gimmicks and become a master at it, you're like unstoppable. Um, I, I don't want to say unstoppable because every ship can technically be destroyed but i've just and i can i've just improved so much because of the ship because once i've learned this mechanic type of stuff i can kind of apply it to my other battleships yes it's not going to be the exact same but you know you don't want to be rushing in you don't like this ship allows you to not rush in even though it's got the speed to do it you don't want to do it you just play probably you know play a little further back not too far back but at least you're gonna be there you can take hits that's the thing too you angle you angle just right and then even though yes you're gonna get he spam you still got your heels so i mean it's just overall a great great ship and it's great for learning too if you're a brand new player um yes it's gonna be a lot of coal for you but once you get the ship, this is how you're supposed to kind of play uh, higher tiers in battleships. And in general, any type of ship in higher tiers. Except for your destroyers. Destroyers are a little... We got a star beside you. But like your cruisers and your battleships, this is what you wanted to play your style as. Kind of like a... You want to keep things in front of you. You want to stay angled. You don't want to present broadside. And yeah... Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, here is some captain skills. Hopefully I don't forget about that. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, I kind of did. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick uh, So You Want a Captain series video. Let me know what ship you want me to do next down in the comments below. And also feel free to subscribe so that you stay notified for whenever any of my videos or anytime I go live streaming. But thanks again for watching this video. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support that you've done. It means the world to me. Um, and it's been amazing. I cannot express how thankful I am for you guys. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.